In this video, we'll be seeing how to upload files in Laravel. So first of all, we will be creating a new Laravel project. After creating a new project, you can minimize the terminal. And now you can see inside this project directory, you can see a new folder that is app. So this is the name of the project that I have given while creating the app. You can see in the terminal. I have used the command like laravel new and then the project name is app you can see it here here we have to go to the routes go to the web.php and we have to create a new route for the upload get and post request before creating a route you have to create a new controller so let's open the terminal again and type php artisan make controller and the name of the controller So I'm creating a controller named upload manager. Now you can hit enter. Okay, you can see that it is showing an error. Cannot open file artisan. That's because we haven't navigated to the folder app. So for that you have to give cd then the project name. So here I have given the project name like app. So you should not get confused with this app folder name and this one. Okay, this is the folder inside the Laravel project and this is the project name. Okay. So don't get confused and now you can hit enter. Now we can type the command php artisan make controller followed by the controller's name. Now you can see the controller is created at the folder app slash http and controllers. So let's open that. Go to app http controllers. So now you can see a new file upload manager.php. Inside this we can create two new functions. So I have created two functions, upload and upload post. So in this upload, we'll be returning the view. So we can return a view. So first of all, go to the resources and create a view. Inside the views, we can create a new file. Name it upload.blade.php. And here we can add the bootstrap. So let's go to bootstrap library. You can come to the website getbootstrap.com and go to the documentation. And here we can copy this template here so copy this paste it here now we have added bootstrap to our project so then we can go back to bootstrap once again and here we can scroll to the form section click on the form controls and here you can scroll down you can see this file input so let's copy this this much from here so we are choosing this file input section okay this much so you can copy this line and here we can create a div. We can give a class container for the div. And inside the container, we have to create a form. And inside the form, we can paste what we copied. And we also need a button. So let's create a button. So now we have to add method and action to the form. Now here we can see we are making a post request. So in Laravel we have to add at CSRF and this will add the token to validate request. So you simply have to add this much. Then we have to add the action. So in order to add the action go to the web.php and here we can create a route now. So you can see I have created a get request to this slash upload and you can see I'm using the upload manager controller and then I'm calling the function upload. If you go to the top, you can see I have added this line on the top. Okay. So hope you understand. I'm calling this function. Now we have to name this route. So we have named it upload. Then we can create one more request to the same URL like a post request. So let's duplicate this line and change the get to post. Now we are having a post request to this URL. Okay. And we can change the function name to upload post. So we have to change the name also. Otherwise there will be conflict between the route names. Okay. 
so we have named it upload.post now let's copy the name and go to the view part and we can use that here so let's open the curly braces and call route then give the name of the route that's all so the view part is completed and we can go to the controller upload manager and here we can return the view so in the function upload we are simply returning the view and in the upload post function we'll be managing the upload activities for that we can receive the file that we are sending from the view part so we need to add a name for the file so let's go to the upload.play.php and here inside this input tag we have to give a name so now we can name it something so i'm going to name it file itself we can give any name here okay and now we can go back to the controller and here we can access that file dollar request of file then give the name that we just used on the view part so now we'll get the file details in this variable now we can access the files details like the name temporary location and the file size etc from this variable so let's access them so here you can see i'm echoing the file name and you can access the file name like file the variable that we just used here and then you can call this function get client original name and this will return the name of the file that we are uploading and the next one is the file extension you can get the extension like get client original extension and the next one is real path that is the temporary path and you can get that by file get real path and the size you can use get size and for the mime type you can use get mime type now we have to upload the files for that we can set a destination so you can see i have created a variable with the destination path upload so go to the public folder and here we have to create a folder named upload okay now when we upload the files all the files will go to this uploads folder in the public folder okay and this will be accessible by anyone so we have to make sure that these are public data and now we can upload it for that you can call the move function inside an if condition we can call dollar file of move then you can pass the destination and the name of the file inside the if condition we can return some success message so here if the uploading is successful you can see we are showing an success message otherwise we are showing an error message okay so that's all we are also printing the file name extension path size and the type etc here so now we can try running it so in order to run you can open the terminal and type php artisan sir then you can hit enter now the server has started here and now go to the link here so you can see the home page has opened now let's add slash upload to the url let's hit enter you can see when we try to run we are having an error so i think it is because of the folder name that we just created on the public so let's go to the code and here you can see we are having the same name for the route and also for the folder inside the public folder okay so this folder and the same route name so this is a public folder that's why this is causing an error so let's change this upload to uploads so you can see i have renamed the folder to uploads so just add an s to the folder name after renaming you have to go to the controller and here we have to change the destination also so here it is saying that it is the upload folder so just add an s to that so now the folder name is uploads otherwise it will create a new folder so in order to avoid that you have to change the destination path also so let's save it and now we can run it so you can see i have refreshed the page and the page is open now you can select a file i'm selecting this video file and submit it you can see we are getting an error now so i think this is because of the view part we forgot to add an encrypt type for that you can go to the upload.blade.php and here we have to add encrypt type 
and then add multi part slash form data save it now we can refresh the page so you have to go to the previous page and now refresh the page and then choose the file and click submit now you can see the file upload is successful you can see the success message here and you can also see the file name extension and the temporary path and also the size of the file and the type of the file that is video mp4 okay so hope you understand how to do file upload so that's all for this video hope you understand how to do file upload in laravel if you have any doubt you can leave a comment below i'll respond to them if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such videos